Hey everybody, welcome to the Infinite Regression. Yes, the amazing place that just goes on and on and on and on forever. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hey, uh, you know how, like, uh, my life has been an increasing abyss of sadness and sorrow? Uh, well, hey, it, things start looking up. I got a, a job interview today. I mean, they called and set what up. It has not happened yet. Uh, but it's looking good. It's sounding good. I'm I'm very excited. So, you know, uh, life has a possibility of being good in the future, uh, which is something that my lovely wife has probably been waiting to hear me say for some time. She is nodding uh, her approval of that statement uh, quite a bit. Anyway. So yeah, things are good. Things are looking up. Um, anyway, let's review a game. And this game we're going to review is one that I've been waiting for for a couple of years now. Talking about Plantera 2 Golden Acorn. Now, Plantera 2 is, of course, the sequel to Plantera. And what is Plantera? Well, it's just the cutest little farming sim that you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, it is completely two-dimensional, and you, you're just going back and forth and taking care of your farm. You've got little blue helpers that you can see are helping pick up your crops and uh, turn them into money. And as you get more money, you can make your farm bigger and bigger, uh, which is both awesome and problematic because it makes it harder to watch over all that land because you've got pests coming in who are going to try and wreck your day. Now, Plantera 1, uh, beautifully simple, wonderfully fun. Uh, I purchased it when my family first got Steam, uh, which we got so that my kids could play Terraria or Terraria, depending on your pr particular pronunciation. Anyway, so it's been a few years that we've had Plantera in our lives. And they announced Plantera 2, and it's been in development for forever. And I will tell you, it just came out yesterday. And I actually recorded this footage yesterday. And I recorded voiceover for this yesterday as well, but I hated it. And I'm redoing it now. Anyway... Here's the thing, is that at first blush, it seems way too similar to the first game to be a sequel and for it to have taken as much time as it took. At, at first, I was like, this is basically the same, you know? Uh, but then, as I played it more, I was like, oh, oh, there's wrinkles. There's little things that they've added in. Uh, you know, the fish jumping out of the water and you get to catch the little fishies. That's new. Eventually there's dolphins. I know that because I've been watching the devlogs for a couple years now and uh, waiting for this thing to come out uh, because this is the most casual, casual game that ever was ever and ever. Like... The game will play itself. Your little blue helpers will do most of the work. Uh, they won't scare off the evil critters and varmints, uh, but those evil critters and varmints can only do so much damage. Uh, you know, this isn't a win or lose game. This is a play and experience game. Uh, and it is a casual... Uh, it has almost, and, and I hate to say this because it's going to sound negative because I have a generally negative view of these type of games, mobile game vibe. I'm, I'm not a huge mobile game guy. Uh, and it does have a certain mobile game feel to it that you're, you know, clicking on things, uh, you know, to pick the fruits and whatnot. This game you can play with just your mouse. I mean, there are a few keyboard commands that you can use, but it's mostly just your mouse. 
your right mouse button uh, helps you grab the screen and scroll right and left. And your left mouse button is for literally everything else. Uh, catching butterflies, catching fish, picking up fruit, uh, bopping uh, the naughty critters such as the mouse, the fox, the wolf, the warthog. Uh, there are probably several others that I haven't seen. Um, bopping them on the head and sending them packing. The crow. Yeah, the crow is also one. That, that one shows up early uh, and is from the first game as well. Yeah, a lot of the sprites look exactly the same as they did in the first game. And it's one of those things where you're like, but how much did they really add? And then you realize, like, okay, the little blue guys look pretty much the same. Your little blue helper men look basically the same, except for uh, now you can get all sorts of fancy hats and stuff for them. Uh, and there's, you know, various upgrades that you can get to your little blue helpers. And there's also new animal types that you can add to your garden um, that do different things. In the original, you had pigs and chickens and, yeah, pigs and chickens. What else did you have? I don't remember. Uh, but it was fairly limited. And, you know, the pigs would dig for truffles and the chickens would lay eggs. And that was basically it. Uh, with this one, you've got, you know, ducks and cats and, you know, eventually unicorns. So, yeah, there's a lot of upgradability to this. And here's the fun thing. W when I said the game plays itself, it also plays itself when you're not playing it. Every time you log into the game, it will say, hey, here's however many gold coins your blue worker guys got since the last time you were here. So, yeah, you could potentially uh, play it once, put it away, and then come back a long, long time later and your little blue guys will be like, hey, we, we got you like 4 million coins or whatever. <laughs> like, that could be a thing. But it, it's more fun to just play it. Most of the time, this is the most casual, casual clicker you will ever see. The music, which is awesome. Uh, I actually kind of prefer the music from the first game a little bit. But the second game, Plantera 2, um, has more music it's more varied it's not the same songs over and over uh and it's the music is a little more filled out it is uh, it does feel like the same person composed the music for both games uh so there is that continuity uh but yeah the ma i just I, the main theme from plantera one i prefer over the main theme to plantera two but that's just a personal choice it's not a big deal but the the thing that I find fascinating is that there are wrinkles to this game that I haven't even unlocked yet. As I scroll through the screenshots on the store page, there is this weird, like, okay, there's a thing that unlocks, and I don't know when it unlocks, but, like, with your golden acorn power, you make your main tree bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually there's like a tree house or like a, yeah, a hole in the tree that's like a house and you can go inside it. And there's some sort of a weird alien looking plant inside of there. And I, I don't know what that's all about. I'm excited to find out. I, I love that. I love that there's just more. There's more to do, there's more stuff, but it has not lost the straightforward, simple, easy to learn, easy to master. It's not one of those easy to learn, uh, difficult to master. Like you'll you'll pick it up and you'll be good at it pretty quickly. Uh, but this is the best pick it up and put it down game potentially ever. Potentially, because like 
you know, the world needs casual games that you can, you know, you don't have to be invested in a big overarching story and you don't need a massive sandboxy world and you don't need pages and pages of lore. Uh, you just, you know, can pick it up and have it be mindless fun that you can pick up whenever you want, put down whenever you want, come back to it, always remember why you picked it up in the first place, uh, put it down without feeling like you're shortchanging yourself at all. That's exactly what this is. And I, I know that it probably won't appeal to everyone, but this is a game that, you know, the first one, we, we just kind of have a special association with it. My entire family played the first one. And now that the second one is out, you know, we're all excited, all gung-ho about this one too. So uh, kudos to the developer. Uh, they did a great job on this game. You know, it's, uh, it's like the first one, but more. It's just more. It's more of it. Anyway, let me put a final score on this thing and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so final score wise, I am going a nine out of a possible 10 cute pixelated corn dogs. Uh, why corn dogs? I, well, you know, because why not? Uh, and why only a nine out of 10? Well, you know, there are things ab about this game that I I liked some things better in the original, uh, but whatever. This is a simple matter. It's not completely perfect. It won't blow your mind. It won't bully you over with its amazing graphics or its you know incredible storyline or whatever. But it is a game that I will come back to again and again and again, and that is what makes it great. I love it. You might love it. It is currently on sale. It just came out yesterday, like I said. Currently on sale for $3.99, normally $4.99. You can save yourself a dollar if this looks like the kind of thing that you would like. Uh, pick it up. We're already enjoying it. My wife is literally playing it right now. And when I'm done with this, it's what I'm going to be playing. So, yeah, it's a good game. I enjoy it. And that's about all you need to know. Anyway, people, hey, hope that you're having a great time. Uh, love that, you know, I, I finally got a job interview. My day is looking up. Uh, day started out crappy, and it was crappy. You know, there was some crappy things that happened that, that made me upset. And, and then, you know, the one really, really, really good thing that I've been waiting for for forever happened. And I'm like... Yes, finally. So, yeah, hopefully, because uh, you guys have endured a lot of like, oh, my mental health is not good, and I'm sad. <laughs> and you guys have been supportive and nice, and I appreciate that so much. Um, but, yeah, I'm just glad that I could bring you a video that's not like, well, my life is in shambles, but here's a video game. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to bring you one and be like, I'm smiling as I do this. So that's good. Anyway, people, I hope you have a lovely time. Uh, play the game if you like. If not, it, it's all good. Anyway, uh, thanks for being here for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.